Welcome to a new video. My name is Harmon. Today's video, I'm discussing the tragic uh, murders of 12 year old Ashley Pond and 13 year old Miranda Gaddis. They were both murdered uh, within a few months of each other by a serial killer, Ward Weaver. And so anyway, in this video, I'm gonna document the tragic murders of both girls I'm going to visit both graves and show you where they were both uh, abducted from. And they both were abducted from the same apartment complex. It was a uh, very brutal murders of both girls. All right guys, so I'm at the Mount Calvary Cemetery and this is where 12 year old Ashley Pond is buried. Um, keep in mind guys that both Ashley Pond and 13 year old Miranda Gaddis, again, were friends. They lived in the same apartment complex and we're in the same dance class together. What's interesting is the guy who murdered both Ashley and Miranda, uh, his name was Ward Weaver. Uh, Ward Weaver had a 12 year old daughter as well and his daughter's name was Mallory and apparently Mallory became friends with both Ashley and Miranda. So both Ashley Pond and Miranda Gaddis as well as Ward Weaver's daughter Mallory, they all three attended the same school called Gardiner Middle School. In 2001, Ashley Pond actually told her family that Ward Weaver had apparently had sexually assaulted her in Ward's house. Um, again, that was five months prior to both Ashley and Miranda both being murdered. Um, it doesn't really say if any police reports were filed or anything, but uh, regardless, nothing, nothing was done about it. So Ward Weaver was born April 6th, 1963 in California and his sister reported that uh, Ward's first uh, kind of signs of, of being like uh, antisocial, narcissistic kind of guy was when apparently when he was a teenager, he raped a family member. And uh, his half brother claimed that Ward had beat him on numerous occasions. And also in 1981, uh, another person came forward claiming that Ward had also raped them as well. However, that charge was dropped as Ward had apparently signed up to join uh, the US Navy. However, that did not last very long as Ward was dishonorably discharged from the Navy for drinking. All right guys, so I'm at the Forest Edge Apartments and this used to be called Newell Creek Apartments. This is where both Ashley Pond and Marana Gaddis both lived. And again, on January 9th, 2002, Ashley Pond uh, left her apartment here around eight in the morning and was heading uh, up the hill around the corner to the bus stop. It's about an eight to 10 minute walk and once again, she never made it. Uh, and again, similar fashion, about a couple months later, March 8th, 2002, Miranda Gaddis, pretty similar situation, left her apartment here. And again, was heading to the bus stop. And of course, never made it as well. Now, uh, Ward Weaver's house used to be right up the road here from this apartment complex. I'll show you exactly where, where it was. Um, but basically where it is, it's, it's basically right, right next to the road right up here. So in other words, uh, Ward Weaver could easily see Ashley Pond and Miranda Gaddis walking up the hill. His house was literally in the view of where they were walking and so uh, he had basically the prime opportunity 
to unfortunately abduct both girls. And I believe uh, his house was uh, 2895 Beaver Creek Road um, here in Oregon City, Oregon. Now, Ashley Pond uh, was excited because she was about to go to a dance class after school. And so she was uh, very excited uh, as she was gonna go do that uh, later on in the day. And again, unfortunately, she never got the chance to do that. All right, guys, so as I pan around, down there, that is where the apartment complex is and both girls would be walking up towards us up this hill. And right here, which I'll come over here and show you, this, uh, this building, financial bank or whatever, this is where Ward Weaver's house used to sit. So as you can tell, it's only like a two, two minute walk from the complex to here. And of course, Ward, Weaver, Ward Weaver's house, you know, is sitting in a prime spot where he could sit, sit outside and watch whoever's going by. And of course, on those two different uh, occasions, uh, both girls were. Both girls would have continued walking though, theoretically. And they would have come up here. And again, their bus stop is, it's around the corner, kind of up uh, on the other side of this hill over here. Um, I'm not gonna go that far. Um, again, this is a corner of Beaver Creek Road and First Street. All right guys, so the way that Ward Weaver was caught was the fact that he was actually arrested on an unrelated charge. Supposedly he raped his son's girlfriend. And so he was arrested on that charge and in jail, uh, he actually confessed to uh, the murders of Ashley Pond and Miranda Gaddis. And they found both of the girls' remains underneath his house, which again was right here in front of us. Um, so what a, what a cruel, terrible, sick human being. I can't even call him a human being. Um, just what a terrible, terrible person or animal, basically. The fact that he could abduct and kill these innocent young girls who, again, were just at the beginning of their lives, um, all to be snuffed out by this crazy evil guy. Um, just absolutely terrible. I am glad that he was caught though and that he is, he is in prison for life without the possibility of parole. Uh, but anyway, so I'm here at the Lincoln Memorial Cemetery here in Portland, and this is where Miranda Gaddis is buried. Uh, she is buried pretty far away from the main entrance, if you ever come here. All right, guys, I uh, wanted to say a big thank you to all of you guys who watch my videos. Uh, I'm going to head out of here, head out to the next case. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, my name is Harmon, and I'll see you on the next one.
Thanks for watching.